All right, hey everybody, it's Dr. Zeno, and uh, we are now in Dallas Airport because I'm about to speak at the Business Finishing School Summit. Let me say Business Finishing School, BFF, amazing, teaches amazing principles. Rick Sapio, thank you for having me uh, speak. We're gonna rock it, as usual. I'm not taking that chance of having food in that like. Like you do, like something way more magical happens when you have the camera. All right, so what is it? You could teach me to a point, but there's just gonna be a point where you, know, you just can't teach them everything because part of it's art. I cut that, I got something to show you. We're at, what is that, A what, what's that? A17, right in front of it. I'm sorry, wait, it's what? A19. It's A19, I apologize. All right, see you soon. All right, so, got a question, you know, uh, because you know you guys are free to send me any questions. Just go to drzano at drzano.com. Any, any questions you want. Uh, so we have a question here saying what is the best way to increase muscle size um, by bulking and getting lean or by increasing uh, mass all the time so I I, I get get what this person saying they're like so is it better just keep on bulking and bulking and bulking or actually bulking getting lean and then then adding mass again back and forth I think the best way all depends what your goals are I would personally, if you're a beginner, I would focus on having enough calories and training hard enough to build as much mass as you can over one, two, three years. And then after that, you know, when you built all the clay, then chisel it out and lean it out, right? Because when you're leaning down, you're not going to gain any muscle. So that's the question. Thank you for your question. And answer, I'll, I'll answer any questions you got. All right, let's do this. First name, Chris? Yes. When you're doing that, do you know where that seminar, the business finishing school seminar? Straight down this hallway, when it splits, veer to the left, and you'll see it right there. So, All right, so, we're about to go on out. It's always got that little nervousness, but I just need to hit the stairs and be good. It's always good. But, uh, and we'll rock it, as we always do. No <laughs> faces. Can I melt their face? Cool. That would be great. He's also been involved in the business finishing school program for over five years. And lastly, oh man, it's kind of blows the whole thing. He's faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it up for Mr. Green Zeno. If someone gave you $50 million, what would you do in six months after you traveled to this? When you came back six months later, what would you continue and keep on doing for nothing if you could? What do people come up to you all the time and ask you uh, advice about? What are those things right there? What is the thing that you don't need an alarm clock in the morning to get up? What is the thing that you're saying, well, someday, dot, dot, dot. Choose your vehicle of influence to serve the world. Very important. So every hero has a vehicle, right? So now we choose our vehicle. So here's your vehicle in today's society. We have video, right? So for some of you, it's video. It's uh, speaking one-to-one, -one. maybe speaking you're better one-to-one, -one, or maybe you're better speaking one-to-many. It could be video, it could be vlogs like we're doing here. It could be audio. The things you might write down, they're probably still really limited because we're just so conditioned of having good ideas and then figuring out a reason why not to do it. Does anybody have a really good idea? Who have, uh, raise your hand if you ever had an idea, right? A good idea, good. And then no, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. And then keep it up if after that idea, every day that went by, you, you talked yourself out of it, some way, shape or form. It could have been the book, it could have been this, or even a business, right? So we, we've all been there. 
You know how many like best-selling books are like in, no, no one's ever written? Or great inventions? Or how about the guy who like, yeah, I, I thought of Uber right before they thought of it. I mean, just like you hear that all the time. We, we, the, a fear is something that's a definite fear and a fog is here's the vision. You have that vision, but there's those foggy places because you're just not, not, maybe you're not a good website builder and you're like, ah, I can't do it. And then you just get so, we focus on the fears and the fog so long, all your attention goes on what? What you can't do. I have nothing but great things to say about Dr. Chris Zeno. I love his energy, I love his clarity of message, and when you see his physique, he lives, eats, and breathes his message. All right, so it's uh, six in the morning. We're flying back to Park City, Utah. So, I mean, the busy business from school is great. You guys saw it on there. You know, the, the talk is my thing. It's, you know, my, it's, it's the one thing when I get on stage that I feel most comfortable in myself at. It really is just a wonderful place to be. And I really hope you guys find something that when you do it, you know, it gives you, it fulfills all those, those requirements that your heart desires to, to give and contribute and to serve. And it's great, you know, I just uh, did a great job on it, you know, like, as we always do. It's a lot easier when it's your content and uh, everybody, of course, it, it talks to the conversation that people are having quietly with themselves and they're afraid to have it with somebody else. So when I'm able to bring that out into the public, see what's in secret, you can't do anything about. So no one could bring this real issue out into the public. Like, listen, I'm living a secret identity. I'm not expressing my hero then people start to have change again. And just, uh, so many people came up after me, they were touched. I think one guy said it was his aha moment. You know, I think you'll see a clip on that. I mean, I couldn't sit still, my knees were bouncing. I know, it was just, that's where it's at, man. You were exactly what I needed to hear. Dude. You are my aha moment, bro. Oh, I appreciate it, man. That, that's, no, for real. That makes my, that makes my day, man. Yeah. That makes the whole thing, I appreciate that. It just really means the world. Rick Sapia, thank you, Rick and Ashley. Uh, they put that on. Rick's been just a great mentor of mine for uh, many years now. And his principles at business finishing school, it's just not about business, it's about life. And I was just more than happy and honored to be able to share with that uh, with that entire elite crowd that was there. So, so we do now. You know, we wake up. Alex and I were going again to Park City, and we're gonna. Uh, my wife's gonna pick me up, <laughs> and we're going back to Comic Con. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later.